My name is Jim Winkler, as you heard, Vice President for Economic Growth at Creative Associates International. I want to take this opportunity to thank Saif and Nabil and Dina, the entire team from ENCC, for hosting this, sponsoring it, and bringing together such an illustrious group of participants. The topic that we're talking about, blended finance, uh, the three previous speakers gave us a great setup for me to introduce it. Um, for me, blended finance is like music. I grew up in a European household in America, and everyone had to learn an instrument. I played the trumpet. We had violins, we had all kinds of musicians, pianists, flutists, um, cellists. And if you go to the symphony and all you hear is a drum beat, it's okay, but you need to bring in the violins and the cellos and the drums and the percussion and the baritones and all of the instruments to have beautiful music. And one of the key actors is the conductor of the orchestra. You need a catalyst. And I think the music metaphor is great for what we just heard from Dr. Ziad. It really is about partnership. That the key actors in any society all have a role and have to be brought together in order to create a low cost, low risk, business enabling environment. If I were to summarize everything I heard this morning, it's, it's too high cost, it's too risky, and in fact, I think, say if you told me this morning that the informal economy is as big, maybe larger than the formal economy. What does that tell you? It tells you that we're driving out all the businesses or would-be entrepreneurs because it's too costly and too risky to operate according to the rules that are established right now. And so that tells us we need to really think differently about how do we organize our economy. And blended finance is complementary to that because we can deploy blended finance in any environment. You'll hear from my colleague Charles Paulette a little bit later about how we do it in West Africa, from the most conflict difficult environment in Burkina Faso or Mali, right? To, I was in Ukraine two weeks ago. I presented blended finance to the Ukraine Venture Capital Association. You think there's only war? There's life and their investors and their people trying to invest there. And they said, this is exactly what we need. Because essentially what we're talking about is de-risking you know, the private sector so they can invest today, not in two months or two years or 20 years when we get everything perfect all the prices right, all the regulations right. No, we can actually de-risk investment for local, regional, and international actors to invest today. And so that means that we need to bring all the actors together. You talked about government earlier, a very important player. Government has done a few things, I understand, like the Egypt COP fund, trying to partner with Avance and um, MGM, I heard from one of our colleagues at Sid Consulting, that uh, is an effort to try to get the government involved in reducing the carbon footprint. So government has a role. We have bilateral donors, USAID, one of our, one of our closest clients worldwide who's sitting here, plays a very important role. Phil, um, foundations, philanthropies, companies that do corporate social responsibility and donate funding to try to help in the social sectors. They provide critical grants. I call it unrestricted capital. That is the most valuable capital because it's flexible and it's a first mover and you can use it to leverage all kinds of debt and equity financing. So in this presentation, it, it will get kind of technical because um, we often talk to bankers and finance experts, but I'll try to make it as accessible as possible because it really is about getting the right music and we need the conductor of the orchestra. And so different people play that role of conductor. You know, we need the development finance institutions. 
We need the multilateral development banks. We need the asset owners. Who are the asset owners? By the way, can I have a mic, if you could bring up a microphone? Because you've heard of TED Talks. I was going to give you a gym talk, but I need a microphone to do that. So if you could bring up a microphone, I'd appreciate it. But uh, the asset owners are the pension funds, sovereign wealth funds, and the insurance companies. They're the ones that own all the assets. We have to figure out how to de-risk their investment so that they can deploy it into the marketplace. So on this first slide, I can control it. Okay. On the first slide here, you'll see that, let's get the big picture. On the far left, there is an estimate of 3.1 trillion with a T, trillion dollars. That is the gap in financing what we need to achieve in implementing the sustainable development goals. That's a huge gap. Where are we going to get that money from? Well, the numbers here show us, I have to hold two. 